for more great videos and learning tutorials, or to download the exercises that go with these videos, please visit our website at www.createthenet.com. That was www.createthenet.com. Hi, and welcome back to our video series on CSS layouts. In our last video, part one, we started constructing this web layout. And we're doing this using uh, divs and CSS instead of using um, tables. And you can see here we've got really four main areas. We've got our header up here, we've got our top navigation here, and then we have our page heading right here with some text in the content area, and then finally a footer down here. And again, in our last video, we built this source code here. And I'm going to go ahead and come back over here, and this is the actual document that we were working on. I've added the content in here. But you can see it's just a plain, unformatted HTML document. So let's go ahead and start adding CSS to this document that's going to make it appear like our sample. So I'm going to go ahead and go into the CSS file here. And I've just gone ahead and pre-populated some, uh, some uh, tags here. here. You see I have a tag here for wrapper. And remember, that's going to be the con constraining div that encloses all of the other divs that you write. If I come back in here to the source code, and I'm actually going to go into code view so you can see this a little bit better here, you're going to see that we have div ID wrapper here, and then header, the navigation section, the content section, as well as the footer are contained in there, and then that wrapper div closes down here. And then obviously we have the four sections that are here. And before I go any further, I'm actually going to go ahead and put in a tag style here for the body. And I want to do a couple things. First thing I want to do is I want to set the background color for the document. And the color I'm going to choose is like a light yellow. And then I'm going to go ahead and remove the top margin and center all the content. And I do that by doing margin 0, px, so it's 0 top and bottom, and auto for left and right. And that will automatically balance them out and center whatever is inside or there. And I'll go ahead and save it. And even if we were to go ahead and go into design view here, in live view, we still won't see any changes except for the fact that the background yellow color is now showing. But later you will see some differences there. So I'm going to go back into my CSS. I'm going to move this on over here a little bit. And I'm going to go ahead and continue in my wrapper section. Now the first thing I'm going to do for the wrapper is I'm going to set the default width of the wrapper. And I'm going to make it something really thin, 600 pixels wide. I'll go ahead and save that. And now you're going to see, if I go into Design View, no longer does the content go all the way across. It's now going to, um, it's now going to be constrained into that 700 pixels. I also want to play around with the margin a little bit here. So I'm going to go back into the CSS here. And I'm going to go ahead and again, I'm going to say that the margin top and bottom for this wrapper div is zero, and I want it centered on the page. So I'm going to do auto, and we'll save, and now we're going to go back into design view. And again, you won't see that top and bottom margin, but you will see now that this entire area is, um, this entire area is centered. So back in here to my split view, and um, we're going to change the background color of that wrapper also. So I'm going to go ahead and do background color. And I want the default color for my constraining div to be a white. So I'm going to go ahead and type in the code there for white. And now you're going to see we've got that going on. And let me go ahead and go into design view. And again, you're going to see the differences there. Come back over here to split view. And we're back in our CSS document. 
Now, the header is the next area that I'm going to go ahead and format. Now, I'm going to go ahead and change the background color of this to that really light blue that you saw earlier. So I'm going to go ahead and select color there. I could select any of these colors, but I'm going to go to my color wheel, choose a blue and sort of jump myself up there. I want it more blue than purple, so I'm moving on over. And let's say that's the color that I'm looking for. Not that it's a great color, but it's a color that'll work for us. And I'm also going to put some padding around this so it's not really skinny. And since I'm using padding instead of margin, the fill color, the background color, will fill that entire div. And I'm going to go ahead and click, and you're going to see that now that blue color fills in this entire area. If I was to have taken off this margin command, I'm going to go ahead and highlight and go to selection and say apply this style of comment, which is the type of comment you use for CSS. So I've commented that out. I'll save. And now when I click over here, you're going to see there's a little bit of difference. To remove that comment, I just simply right click, highlight and right click, go back to selection and select remove comment and you'll see just a slight movement there. So we've gone ahead and we've set the padding and the background color for our header div. And let's go ahead and let's just preview this in a browser to see how it's going to look. There we go. So we're already starting to see the basis for the way this is going to come out. Let's go ahead and format the footer since we've already done the header. And then we'll go ahead and add some things in for the content section. And finally, we're going to do this navigation in here. So I'm going to go ahead and go back into Dreamweaver. And I'm going to go ahead and highlight this statement here. Because I want the background color for the footer to match the background color for the um, uh, header. So I'm going to right click and copy that value. Come down in here into footer right click and paste and you'll see that style is added. I'll add a tab in there and click and you're now going to see the footer has that added into it. I'm going to do a couple other things. I'm going to add some padding on here so that the um, footer is a little bit wider. I'm going to go ahead and say 10 pixels of padding and we'll click over here you're going to see again we get that much padding. And that's probably too much for the footer. So I'm going to go ahead and reduce that down to six pixels. There we go. And then I'm going to go ahead and come in here to my content section. And I'm not going to do much with my content section right now. The only thing that I do want to do is I want to um, set the padding around this. So I'm going to go ahead and do padding 20 pixels for the content section and you'll see that that moves there. Also, if you're interested in seeing the high definition 1280 by 720 videos, please go to createthenet.com. When we upload these videos to video sharing services, they always shrink the video size down and decrease the quality, so they come out a little bit fuzzy. If you go to the website, you can see the full resolution versions of these videos.